All right, I'm going to be comparing uh, my modified uh, CLD99 Pioneer LaserDisc player with a duplicate that has not been modified. So we're going to compare modified to unmodified. Um, this is a multi-burst pattern being generated off a video standard, um, which is a alignment uh, laser disc. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've got both of them hooked up to the Tektronix 1740A waveform monitor, and I'm looking at line uh, a single line of video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip between the two players. On this pattern, what you want is you want all the bursts going from left to right to be the same in height that shows that the frequency response um, or the bandwidth of the player is there is good. The more even these are, the higher resolution you can get out of the player. Um, this difference is actually quite dramatic between the two. This is the unmodified player doing the same pattern. You can see that the pulses get progressively smaller as they go to the right. This means a decrease in horizontal resolution and bandwidth. Uh, going back to the modified player, you can see that this is a much flatter pattern going out in frequency. So this is a quite obvious and visible um, result of the modifications, which is quite visible in the picture as um, additional resolution. So again, this is the standard, and this is the modified. That's the standard and that's the modified player. So those are, are quite obvious differences in bandwidth that these are displaying. Um, again, these test patterns are coming directly off a video standard laser disc, so these are showing the bandwidth has increased all the way from the disc quite clearly.